Hello, this is Stephen Withrow with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to show you a solution per Minbor came up with for do not let your Java objects escape. Per agreed to let us create this video showing his solution, which is available as an article here on his blog at the URL shown here. Escape analysis has been available with the Java compiler for some time, and in the later updates of Java 6, it became the default. Escape analysis allows the compiler to place objects on the stack as opposed to creating objects in heap memory. Escape analysis is a technique employed by the compiler to save memory resources by placing objects on the stack when possible as opposed to in heap memory. The scenario that Per is going to show us is exemplified by a point class that uses the string builder. The string builder will create a string in the toString method of the point class. We might think that the string builder will be created millions of times if we invoke the method millions of times. However, the compiler using escape analysis can put the string builder on the stack instead. So every time the method is called, the string builder object can be placed on the stack, and then when the method returns a value, the string builder object can be popped from the stack and automatically deleted. In other words, that would bypass garbage collection. That will improve the efficiency of the program execution. An object's escape state has one of three distinct values. Global escape, in which the object does have to be placed on the heap. There is also arg escape, in which the object is passed as an argument, but cannot be observed by the outside world or any other thread. And then there is no escape, in which the object cannot escape the method or the thread at all. The no escape objects can be allocated from the stack and bypass heap memory. This is important because no escape objects can be allocated on the stack or even in CPU registers, again bypassing the heap and improving the execution times of the program. The heap allocation can potentially drain memory and CPU uh, cache resources. Per gives us a sample Java application that is going to illustrate the benefit of using escape analysis. By setting appropriate JVM parameters when we run the program, we can observe the impact on the heap memory and the other Java resources, and we can discover the benefit of using escape analysis. I have reproduced PERS code here on my computer. I have defined the point class. The point class has a toString method that will return a string builder object. The sum method will call the toString method of the point object repeatedly, up to a million times in this case, and the some method is going to be called from the main method. I will now execute the program using the Java Runtime Launcher. Notice the option I have provided to the JVM to print the garbage collection details. Notice the impact on the Eden space, 22% utilization. That translates into approximately 8 megabytes using the code that PER has given us. What I'm going to do now is attempt to force a global escape by calling the point to string method from my main method. This will compel the compiler to allocate the string builder in the heap, and we should see a concomitant increase in the consumption of the Eden space. I have compiled the code. And now I'm going to run the code again. Notice the utilization has in fact gone up to 30%. Now 10 megabytes allocated out of the heap. Because the string builder object has to be placed on the heap, it's now being referenced by the main method. 
and this underscores what PER is indicating in terms of the performance benefit of escape analysis. Thanks again to PER for the inspiration for this video. For other articles on Java and the JVM, visit his blog at the URL shown here. Also, be sure to check out www.speedmint.org.